Hey, I'm a mechanical engineer, and this is my homemade tabletop water fountain. So as I said earlier, this is a tabletop water fountain, and it's a great piece to have in waiting rooms or around the house somewhere because most people find the sound of running water quite soothing. So now I'll go ahead and show you how I built it. So the first thing I did when building the fountain was I went out and I found a small plastic container that could hold all of the water. I then pulled out my water pump that we made in a previous video and I started messing with different dimensions for the water fountain. And if this water pump looks massive that's because it definitely is. I might be overpowering this project but we'll be worrying about that farther down the line. After playing around with a few different dimensions, I decided that the largest my first platform can be is 4 inches squared. So I went ahead and cut out that piece out of acrylic plastic. So now since we have the platform piece cut out, we can now go ahead and cut out the stand to hold up the platform piece. So I decided to cut out four identical pieces that are 4 inches long by 3 inches wide. This way the stand is smaller than the platform so the water can just roll off. Now all four of these pieces are exactly identical except for this end one. As you can see, for this one I drilled a hole larger than the intake of our motor and I cut a little notch at the bottom for the wires to come out of. So now once all these pieces are cut out and your hole and notch is cut, you can now go ahead and glue them together into a box shape. There we go, just like that. Next we'll take some JB Water Weld, which is basically a waterproof clay, and we'll put this clay on the inside corners of the box we just made. That way we can guarantee that no water can get in. So now while we let this dry, we can now work on the top part of it. What we're going to want to do next is drill a hole right down the center part of that plastic, just big enough for the tubing of our motor to fit into. Just like I've done right here. So next I'll take some 5 8 of an inch wide acrylic and I'll glue on side pieces to the top platform. Just like I did here. So next I drew a center square on the bottom side of our platform. That way we can now glue our stand to the platform like that, making sure that the hole is pointed downward. So now once that's glued, we'll take our waterproof clay once more and we'll apply it at all the joints where the stand and platform meet all the way around, and then all of the joints and the top platform itself all the way around. And so once you finish, it should look a little something like this. So now since our first tower is done, we're going to go ahead and we're going to repeat the same process and build a second tower. Only the second tower is going to be one inch smaller, like this one. So whereas our first tower is four inches squared, and then the base is four inches by three inches, this one is three inches squared, and the base is three inches by two inches. And so other than size, both towers are identical, except this little tower does not have this hole and this little notch cut out. But other than that, they are both identical except for size. So now once both towers are done and the clay is dry, we'll take both towers and our plastic basin and we'll go spray paint all of it black. So once the small tower dries, I then took a small piece of piping the same diameter as the one off the motor and a 15 inch long piece of tubing that fits in both of them. I then slipped the tubing inside the pipe, just like that, and then snugly fit the tubing in the center hole of the top tower. Now we'll bring in the larger tower, slip this tubing down that hole, center our smaller tower on top of the larger tower and then glue it in place. So once all that's glued, we'll once again take our friends Mr. Water Weld and we'll apply it at the base of the pipe and at the base of the tubing and all around where the two towers meet to make sure all of that is waterproof. Here we go. And don't worry about messing up the paint job a little bit. We'll go and touch it all up once we're done. So next we need to run power to the water pump. So what I'm going to use is an old battery charger. I love this because it takes the full voltage of the wall current and it steps it down to 7.2 volts DC, which is exactly what I need for the water pump. So what we're going to do is we're going to drill a small hole at the bottom of one of our container sides, just big enough for the wires to fit through. We're then going to cut the head off of the wires, stick the wires through the hole, strip the wires, and then solder the wires to the motor. So this is where things get just a little bit more difficult. 
So what we'll do now is we'll take the tower that we just finished and we'll cut the hose so that there's only about an inch hanging out of the tower. We'll then slip this pipe into the water pump's exit port. And then put waterproof clay all around it. After you've done that, you can then take your water pump, push the intake nozzle into the hole we drilled earlier, glue it in place, and then pack the base of the intake nozzle with waterproof clay. Now since the motor is set in place, we can now glue the power cord into the small notch that we cut earlier. And now since everything's done, we can now place our towers in the center of the water basin and glue them in place. And I know I probably don't have to tell you, but don't forget to put waterproof clay at the base of the main tower and over the electric wire that we just ran. So now since everything's glued and the clay is applied everywhere that needs to be, I'm now going to take this back outside and give it one last coat of spray paint. And finally, I bought a small bag of gravel from the pet store that I'm going to put on every last level to add just a little bit more character to help it stand out. And now it's finally time to test it. So now I'm going to fill the basin with some water and now I'll plug it in. And there you have it, my homemade tabletop water fountain. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please feel free to hit the thumbs up and subscribe. And more really, I'll see you next week. Thank you for watching. And please feel free to subscribe.